uh, hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we will talk more about other questions so in the previous videos we covered about how to check if a string is a palindrome and from there we already know how to reverse a string what if you got uh, numbers like okay this is my number 1 2 3 4 5 6 and there is a question to reverse this number right so what we can do is we can write a simple reverse logic okay and it is taking integer as an argument okay and here what we can do is uh, it's going to be the same thing whatever we are going to get we will just convert it to parse it we will return it by converting it to integer first we will just convert the integer which we received into a string so two string is there it will convert that to a string then we will split this then it is going to be the same split and now it is becoming an, an array then we have a reverse and then join okay so what this will give us this will give us uh, the value I mean parse and takes two argument one is a red x also but that that is optional so integer dot two string it will convert into a string then we are doing a split so it become array you reverse the array and then you join that array right it's just a simple example uh, you can actually convert that okay <coughs> next examples which we are talking about is uh, fridge buds problem I mean this is you might have heard about this fridge buds is uh, a number is given to you like R12 okay this is the input you have received and what you need to do is if this number so we you just need to iterate till 12 numbers which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and for every number till 12 okay so if number is divisible by 2 then you have to put fidge okay if number is divisible by 2 then you have to put uh, fidge if number is divisible by 3 then you have to put buzz if number is divisible by 2 and 3 both then you have to put fridge buzz so my output will be something like this 1 is divisible by 2 and 3 uh, no uh, so there will be nothing 2 2 is divisible by fridge so you will get fidge so if number is not divisible by either 2 3 or 2 or 3 both then you have to put the number itself okay nothing okay so we can just uh, use a simple array and we can will keep uh, doing a push into an array okay so it is fidge budge and we got the number as an input we are writing arrow functions and this is let's say this is my output which is an empty array okay I will just run a loop simply let i is 0 i is less than or equal to number i plus plus okay now I will do I will write my logic here if i is divisible by 6 so you can do, do it two different ways if i is divisible by 2 equal equal to 0 or and i is divisible by 3 this should be 0 then only you can actually do uh, you can collect the output for this number is output dot push and you will push uh, fidge was <coughs> instead of doing this what you can do is you can actually do a simple 6 also because this will satisfy the condition whatever we have written okay now else if i is divisible by only 2 then you will do output out dot push uh, if i is divisible by 2 then what we are doing is we are pushing fizz similarly else if loop and else if another condition if i is divisible by 3 
then you will put bus okay else if number is not divisible by 2 3 or 6 what we will do is simply out dot push and we will just put the number itself right this is a simple uh, fish buzz problem and once this loop is done we will return out okay so fish buzz simple problem right this can be a, a statement like uh, in coding questions it, it is very simple so but you should be aware of this this is how you can do it so you should always be checking for this first condition if a character is if a number is divisible by 2 3 4 whatever the inputs has been given right so you should check that first then check for 2 and then check for 3 okay now next thing we we are going to do is uh, we have like a, a simple string is given to you okay consider that there is a string hello world right now what you need to do is you need to find out which character is coming most of the times so, okay h is coming i mean one once l is coming i think which is three times so we got the answer output for the string from the function should be l right because l is coming most of the times so what we will do is we will write a function get max character from string I mean you can put any name and this is the string we are taking as an input what we are doing is we are creating a map of characters okay here we will create a map and we will store all the occurrences of characters which are happening and rest we will just create a loop let character of uh, this string we are running a simple for of loop okay inside this for of loop what we are doing is so here we have the character object so character of uh, okay both will be same right so what we will do is let's make it as a character and let's create it as an object oh let's create call it as a map it's a because it's going to store objects key value pair right map of character equal to so we will see this if uh, so here we have character this is characters of uh, this is the map so in map if you already have that character available right map of character if this is already there then plus one otherwise initialized it with one okay what i'm saying is for every character we will we are creating a map we are just this map will hold the character value with its occurrences so if this is already available as a one then we will increase the count otherwise you will initialize it with a one if that character is occurring for the first time okay so let's see let let max count which is initialized with zero and max character also we initialize with zero or null because we don't know right now now we will run a for loop let character uh, we will just run the simple for loop character of uh, characters so now we got the object right we got the map object right so we will just run a for in loop onto this object I am also thinking and writing so let character in this particular map here we will just try to find which character has the maximum value right so here we have a character of of uh, this is an object inside a particular map so if this is a map inside this character if this is greater than max count which is initialized with i think zero and what we will do is here we will just put max count equal to a map of character because this is the max count we just received and maximum character this value which character is occurring maximum times makes character equal to the character which we got from this okay I mean the naming I think little bit weird 
but this is just a map and in which we are holding the each and each and every characters occurrences they will not be repeated okay so we'll just create a map and in this map will hold h is coming how many times one okay e is coming how many times one and we have l which is coming how many times three so this kind of uh, object we will create and we are iterating onto this right so map of character if that is greater than max count which max count is zero if this max count is now three that means it is greater right so max count is three because that is coming three times and maximum character is the character which is l okay so this is pretty much straightforward we have and we just need to return something which is max character okay yeah this is plain and simple okay in the next videos we will cover more questions in the same line